Today we are going to look at one of my favorite folding knives of all time. Today we are going to look at the Benchmade Crooked River. Guys, the Benchmade Crooked River is one of my favorite folding knives. I absolutely love it. It is a gorgeous knife. It is a classy knife. So let's get into it. First, we're going to look at the specs. So this is the Benchmade Crooked River. This is the larger version. They make a mini Crooked River. Um, and I'll kind of talk about those specs, a little bit of those specs here in a second. But this particular model is, it has a 4-inch blade. Its overall open length is 9.3 inches. The weight is 5.41 ounces. So it's not a terribly heavy blade for how large it is, um, but you can see that it does have a pretty sizable 4-inch blade on it. Okay, guys, uh, I love this knife. This is so cool. So let's get into what I like, um, something I don't like, and something unique, and we'll have a neutral point, talking point in this video actually today. So first of all, what I like, and we'll say what I love about this knife, um, this knife, it just looks classy. I mean, you can see it. It looks like a classy knife. It looks like a high-end knife. It looks like a knife that when you pull out, someone goes, whoa, how much did you spend on that one? And we'll kind of get into the price. And, and, you know, it's not a cheap knife, that's for sure. It's the most expensive knife I've shown you guys so far. Um, but it just simply looks like a classy knife. I remember when I got my Crooked River, I posted a video or a picture to Facebook and I had someone comment on it, and they're like, whoa, how much did that set you back? You know, it looks like a classy knife, so when you pull this knife out, you know, people kind of think or they know that, you know, you know knives and you like knives. And I think that's kind of cool, because often you pull out a knife and, um, you know, us knife enthusiasts know, we get excited about pulling out a knife or when we get to use it. But people don't really think much about it. But when you pull this out, people think about it because they can tell that you care and collect and use knives. So that's the thing that I absolutely love. So what I like about it, uh, first of all, this blade. That is a gorgeous Bowie-style clip point. I mean, it's long. It's beautiful. It has such a great grind on it. Um, comes razor sharp. Um, I also love that this tip, while it's precise enough, it's not all that sharp. Um, you know, uh, the, bl the edge is plenty sharp, but the tip isn't too pointy. A lot of Bowie knives, a lot of clip points, them being m like one of my favorite styles of blades, a lot of times their, their tips get too precise and you have to worry about bending or even, um, you know, cracking your tip off. That's something I don't really worry about with this knife because this knife being a little over three millimeters thick, you know, it keeps a lot of that thickness up to that tip. So this blade, it is beautiful. I love that clip point style. I love that Bowie style. Um, that's one of my favorite features of this knife. Another thing I really like about this knife, this handle has plenty of room on it. I got a, a new microphone stand actually, so I could bring my right arm around. I wasn't working with that boom mic anymore, but you can see, I've talked to you guys before, you know, you know, I have extra large hands. Um, they're not overly long. My fingers aren't overly long, but they are chunky and, and wide. Um, and so this gives me plenty of room. You can see plenty of room. I still have almost a half an inch on the end. I can even choke back right here if I ever needed to, um, you know, for something to get a little bit more reach. Um, there's even plenty of room for that. So this handle gives me plenty, plenty of room. Not only does this handle give me plenty of room, it's also very comfortable. Um, you know, it, it's not overly rounded, but the squareness of it actually allows your kind of the creases of your finger fingers to grip in there and grasp it really, really well. So I really like that it's not like super, super rounded like the Buck 110, but it's also not sharp like um, on the Contego. I've, you know, there was a lot of sharp lines on that Benchmade. So, you know, I really, really like that it is uh, squared in a way that's not super sharp. And the handle just is super, super comfortable. I really like that. Another thing I really like, um, along with the handle, is these orange accents. You can see that orange accent around the pivot. Um, that's kind of got a, a rich orange. I'm not sure if the camera's capturing that well enough. But that's kind of got a rich orange to it, and it's very shiny. And then you have this orange on the back. That's more of a brighter kind of hunter orange. Um, I don't love that those are different kind of shades. They look the same. It's not like they look off, but, um, you know, you have this kind of shiny looking accent, you know, around that pivot. And then this is more of a matte finish. You know, 
I would like for that to be kind of the same finish. You know, I know you can get different backspacers and I'll talk about something unique is um, later on where you can, you could change all of that. But anyway, I do like those orange accents because I think, especially that one, because I think that sets it apart and that gives it a little splash of color. So um, another thing I really like is this diamond wood. So diamond wood is like a stabilized wood. I guess it's like a resin. You know, you don't want actual wood because it would chip, it would crack, you know, it will retain water. So it's like a resin to where it's not going to be doing that, but it feels nice and smooth. Um, and it looks, it adds to the looks of this knife. You know, it makes it look like a classy knife um, with that wood, you know, and the, and the aluminum right there as well. So I really like that diamond wood look. Uh, another thing I really like is this is pretty lightweight for its size. Now it's not overly lightweight. You know, it's a four inch blade. You're looking at overall the open length, almost 10 inches. You know, again, like you have a lot of reach, you know, it's not meant as a tactical knife. Um, obviously it's meant more as a hunting kind of EDC knife, but I mean, again, I'm not a knife fighter. I don't know really what I'm talking about, but that's a Bowie, that's a Bowie clip point. You know, that's a fighting knife style. Um, and I mean, look at the reach you have on this thing. You know, I know that reach is something that a lot of people who, who, you know, do that kind of martial blade stuff, they like having reach. So, you know, this might be a great option for that. I don't know, but it is a lightweight knife. And I think part of that is due to, you see, so we have, you know, these aluminum bolsters right here, then you have this diamond wood, and then you have some steel liners, but those steel liners are skeletonized. And I don't think I'm going to be able to pick that up in the camera. Uh, yeah, you can see it right there. So they're skeletonized. So you have, you know, a, a few a few circles cut out in those to keep the lightweight feel of the knife, you know, um, but also get that strength from the steel liners. So I love that. You know, I think that right around five and a half ounces for a knife of this size, that's plenty comfortable. Any lighter, you know, it depends on the build of the knife, but you don't want a knife to feel cheap. And I know a lot of people like really lightweight knives. I'm not into them. Um, you know, I like a balance between heavy and lightweight and I don't want a knife to be super heavy, but I also don't want it to be too light to where it's starting to feel, you know, cheap. Last thing I really, really like, it's an access lock. And you know what I talked about in my Griptilian review that I know some people probably really disagreed with, but you know, the Griptilians can come really stiff, especially when you really thwack them. The Crooked River, this is the second one I've owned and they come smooth. I've never had an issue with a Crooked River's axis lock. They come as smooth as can be. Lockup is solid. They're sharp out of the box. You know, this being a knife that's, you know, double, if not more, um, the price of the Griptilian, you can tell they put more care into a knife like this. So, yeah, the, I, I absolutely love this axis lock, and these come out really, really smooth. So, for this review, I actually have a neutral talking point. I'm going to mention it real quick. First, people with smaller hands, you know, um, people who, 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 who don't wear extra large size gloves or even large size gloves, um, this might feel a bit unwieldy. Uh, you know, the handle to, to blade ratio, which I'll kind of talk about in, in the negatives, it, it's, it's not the greatest. So you're looking at, you know, like a five and a half inch handle almost with a four inch blade. So there is a lot of handle in comparison to the blade. So if you have small hands, you know, if, if you're a smaller dude or, you know, you're a girl, you know, it might feel a bit unwieldy. That being said, you have the, you have the room to choke up. Even I have the room to choke up or to choke back. So I think that maybe that might be an issue for people who really like to feel like they're in control of their knives. But Benchmade also offers a mini Crooked River that has a three and a half inch blade. I don't know the handle size, but I know that it's a lot smaller. So, you know, if, if you're worried about it feeling unwieldy in your hand, maybe look at getting the mini Crooked River for, you know, 20 bucks less or so. And we'll talk about the price here in a little bit too. So first of all, what I don't like is the mixture of the diamond wood and the aluminum bolster. So I love the look. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's classy. But if you feel kind of the balance of the knife, because aluminum is a lot heavier than that diamond wood, the balance does feel a tiny bit off. Now, when you're grasping it like this, it doesn't really matter. When you're grasping it like this, you kind of do feel it pulling forward. Um, so that is a little bit off, you know, and uh, you can kind of feel that weight coming forward that with that aluminum bolster. Uh, 
like I mentioned earlier, the handle to blade ratio, you know, it's a little bit off, you know, you're looking at almost an inch and a half more. That being said, um, I kind of like it. I like being able to have options when I'm holding a knife if I want to really, really choke up for some fine work and I have plenty of room to be able to do that. Or if I, you know, want to go back, if I ever had to, you know, use this in a defensive encounter. Not that I would know what I was doing, but, you know, I'd want to have a little bit more room between me and whoever was attacking me. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I, you know, I can see that, that some people wouldn't like that, but uh, you might want to go with the smaller one because I think the, the blade to handle ratio is a little bit better on that one. Another thing I don't love, and I mentioned it again, you know, that, that backspacer, while I do like that it's orange, I wish it had the shine and kind of the same, the same smooth texture to it that that, uh, that ring around the pivot does. Um, I, I think it would look better. I think it would look a little bit more classy. Um, but I think they added this so like, cause they've been adding these to a lot of their hunting lines. If you say drop this when you're out hunting, I mean, you're gonna see that cause that is bright orange. So I get why they did that, but I would have preferred it to be more of a shiny kind of orange to just to fit that, um, that circle around the pivot. Um, you know, Benchmade has a customizer, and this is one of the knives that you can customize all day long on. You can get different handle materials. You know, you can get G10, and there is a there is a stock G10 one. It's like a great G10. It doesn't look nearly as good, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so you know, but you can take it into the customizer and get different color bolsters. I think you can do black. You can do like a black blade. I think they have a gold class one that's like fifteen hundred dollars. It's gorgeous, but um, you know. So you can kind of pick what you would want it to look like and that backspacer could look different. So that's just, for me personally, that's just a kind of a gripe I have with the main model of, of Crooked River, which is which is the one you're going to probably see on you know, a lot of the, the websites um, out there. So, you know, I wish that, that backspacer looked a little bit different. I still like the orange, but maybe a little bit shinier of a texture. Um, one last thing, and this is the second Crooked River I've owned. And the reason I got rid of the first Crooked River... Um, is, so you see right here, diamond wood, while it is stabilized wood and it's not going to crack nearly as much as regular wood, it's still kind of a type of wood. It's still, you know, it still has that feel to it. And so as you can see, even with G10 or even any sort of plastic, um, I guarantee, let me get that a little bit closer. If you can see that, um, you know, there's not, there's not much room in between that lanyard hole and where that, that diamond wood is. So, I mean, that's a very, very tiny piece, and that cracked on me twice, um, two different times. Now, I sent it in, the first time I got it, it was already cracked. Uh, I sent it in a Benchmade. They replaced the scales, sharpened it up, no charge to me, sent it on back. And again, their customer service is really great. The second time it happened, it was my fault. I dropped it on pavement. So, um, that being said, there are a lot of knives where handle materials won't crack if you drop them on pavement. So it's just, it's kind of a function of the design. You know, I, I'm going to see how this one holds up because this is one I'm adding to my, you know, my personal permanent collection. So hopefully this one holds up a little bit better. If it doesn't, I may switch to, um, you know, the G10, even though it doesn't look as good, but I'm going to try and find a material that, that won't have that issue around that lanyard hole. <clears throat> so something unique about the knife. Uh, now, I've talked about how great Benchmade customer service is, and, you know, um, they are. So that, that is something unique about the blade, but I want to get into something a little bit more, and I kind of talked about it on what I loved about the knife, and this blade just feels and looks classy, but it's also super functional. This is S30V. I should have talked about that up top. This blade steel is S30V. I've talked about S30V. Um, for those of you who are new to knives, S30V is a nice high-end steel. It's not top of the line like 20CV or M390, but it is, you know, a higher-end steel. Very high-quality knife steel. Will hold an edge very well, uh, and it's likely not going to rust on you. Um, S30V, so it's a great steel. And this knife is a blade that feels super classy that you can take out wherever, even though this is a big, big knife. Um, but it's super, super high quality materials. You know, it feels and looks like a, uh, a classy knife, but you're getting the performance out of a modern knife with modern materials. And kind of like I talked 
in the uh, Cold Steel Wild West Bowie. It's kind of a blend of two worlds with that wood look with those aluminum bolsters, but also having S30V steel and this axis lock. I mean, it's just, it's a no brainer, guys. This knife is awesome. And I love this knife. It's honestly one of my favorites, if not my favorite folding knife. Yes, even, even, even with that design, you know, kind of issue I've talked about. So would I recommend it? Absolutely. This knife is awesome. It's, I'd say, honestly, I'd say it's a formidable tool, a weapon, you know, it's great for, you could use it hunting though. I don't know many people who use folding knives hunting. There's a lot of gunk that can get in that pivot, you know, but you can use it for everyday carry outdoors use. It, it's fantastic. You know, it's, it's got plenty of, plenty of blade on it for most things that you're going to want to do with it. Um, I don't know of any competitive options, options that you might buy instead of this. There's a bunch, you know, I'm not really going to focus on those that much anymore because I think that people who are watching these reviews, they kind of already know what they want to buy and they kind of want to know, is it quality? Am I going to like it? And so that's what I'm trying to help you guys out with. So, um, I absolutely recommend this knife. Um, it is a fantastic knife. Uh, it's beautiful, it's functional, and it will, it will do most tasks that you want a folding knife to do. Now, one thing that I do want to talk about real quick is price. This isn't a cheap knife. Now, there are knives that are wildly more expensive than this one, but when you're looking at knives in production, you know, in pr uh, that are production knives, that come out of a factory, even though this is a bench made, so it's American made, um, which I, you know, I love when things are made in my home country, just like a lot of you guys probably like that, you know, wherever you're from. Um, this is around a little over 200 bucks, usually around 200 though. I've seen it between like 190 and 220. So we'll say around 200 bucks. Um, that's not cheap. You know, um, I love knives and I'm willing to spend money on knives. You can ask my wife. Um, but you know, that's not cheap for a folding knife, but what you're getting with, with it, S35 steel, a classy design, those beautiful aluminum bolsters, that great clip point, that diamond wood, you know, it is a design that I think is worth the 200 bucks you're going to spend. And if you want to save 10, 20 bucks, you can go for the mini. Um, but I think they're going to be pretty close in price. I think it's going to be more of, you know, if you have smaller hands, you want a smaller blade that you go with the mini. So I think it's absolutely worth it. Even at 200 bucks. Um, would I like it to be cheaper? Sure. Who wouldn't, <laughs> but I think that it's totally worth it at that 200 guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have a crooked river and what you think of it. I think it's a fantastic, great blade and, um, like, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.